In 2019, Cartier decided to bring back a classic from their catalog of the incredible inventive mind of mastermind Louis Cartier. Uh, stay tuned. We've got the Benoit in the large size with diamonds, beautiful watches coming up. If you look back on the history of the House of Cartier, you really don't go far before you find the name Louis Cartier. He was uh, an absolute genius of the watch and jewelry world. And a lot of the shapes that we've come to just sort of know and expect and uh, accept as normal, uh, he invented. Really everything except for round, Louis Cartier came up with. So it's no surprise that he was the inventor of the oval shape, ellipse shaped watch. And depending on whose version you're reading, this happened around 1908 or 1912 or 1906. But uh, suffice it to say that he took an already round watch and elongated it and curved the top and bottom. He kept the sides straight and just curved the top and bottom in that original model. But it was presented to one of his top clients at the time. If you look at the Cartier history, really interesting how they had managed the three brothers to sort of permeate the royal houses uh, all across Europe and uh, even into Asia. And they really just had such a far reaching influence on the jewelry world. But uh, one of their top clients was the Russian Grand Duchess Pavlovna. And they presented this first Benoit watch to her. It wasn't called that yet. It didn't have a name. And when she looked at it with the straight sides and the curved top and bottom, apparently she exclaimed that it looked like her bathtub. And so the word Benoit is French for bathtub and uh, the name stuck. But they really didn't make many of this watch for a long time. It wasn't until the design house in 1957 or 58, again, depending on whose version you're reading, uh, really decided to revamp the Benoit and, and came up with the more oval shape that we see today rather than the straight sides. And uh, it wasn't made in big numbers in the 50s, but it became just a, a cult icon amongst especially a lot of the, the really sophisticated, uh, fashion-forward people that were in England and France at the time. So it became kind of this icon in itself uh, for iconic people to wear. Um, it, it really sat out there as sort of a collector's item for a long time. And then in the 1990s, Cartier really pushed forward and came out with a lot of different versions of the Benoit. So this is when you saw the mini, the small, the plain ones, diamond ones, gold bracelet ones with the Cast d'Or bracelet. Uh, you saw colored stones set on them in the Tutti Frutti collection. But this one really, uh, to me, sort of takes the cake because it has incorporated all of the modern advancements in watchmaking, but in this sort of throwback design that really looks back a hundred years. Uh, it, it is a large scale watch. It is about 44 millimeters high and about 34 wide. So it's a large scale ladies watch and it is completely curved with the wrist. It's so cool. It's about 10 millimeters thick, but you really wouldn't know it when it's on the wrist because of the way the entire case, crystal, dial, everything is curved and it just sits so nicely on the wrist. Of course, the star of the show on these watches is the Cartier stone setting ability. They are a, a, a jeweler first and a watchmaker second. They are one of the premier jewelry houses in the, in the world and their pave setting is so much better than anyone else's I've ever seen. It really looks different. You can tell that they use only the top quality diamonds. They use full cut 58 facet diamonds. And in each space, they use the biggest diamond that will fit. So you don't see really any metal, just diamonds when you look at these watches. In a, in a rare move, uh, Cartier has published the, some stats on the diamonds in these. It is 149 diamonds that total 1.44 carats. Um, although that seems to be the case diamonds, not the one that's on the crown as well. You know, the, if you've been looking at these very long, that Cartier normally has a blue stone on the crown, but on the diamond watches, they'll put a diamond on the crown. And it's just such a nice touch for the attention to detail that they give to their pieces. The dial is, uh, it's a Flinke guilloche 
with printed Roman numerals, of course, the secret Cartier signature and the thin line of the seven. You can see this if you zoom in on the pictures on our website, you'll see that thin line is not really a line. It's a micro printing of the word Cartier. Um, it's not the one tell all, end all, be all, but I've never seen a fake watch get that micro printing right. So it's definitely one of the signs of authenticity. If you see that micro printing done well and it's really crisp and the letters are correctly aligned and the font is correct, it's difficult to reproduce that. But when you look at the case itself, it has such a great design, the way the underside is polished. We have the Cartier deployant buckle, which Cartier invented uh, way back in 1908. This one's adjustable, of course, so you can make the strap fit just about any wrist size. And I'll show you the back of the white gold one we have here because it doesn't have the service center sticker over the movement. But you can see it's got the exhibition case back and the plates and the movement are heavily decorated with the Cartier double C logo. You can tell this is one of their in-house manufacture caliber movements because of the uh, blued Cartier C that's connected to the balance wheel. But this is the caliber 430 MC. The MC stands for manufacture caliber. Everything's done in-house. Um, it's uh, certainly, uh, I'm sure they've borrowed some of the expertise of some of their Richemont stable mates from Giger Lecoultre and Vacheron Constantin, but it's a fabulous movement, all handmade. And it's not real common to see that kind of a handmade, hand-wound mechanical movement in a lady's watch with an exhibition case back. So if you're a watch aficionado, you love the, the mystery and romance of the tiny little machine that runs 24 hours a day with an incredible degree of precision right there on the wrist, being able to take a certain amount of temperature changes, shocks, position changes, and still run at a real high degree of accuracy. Uh, this could be the perfect jewelry watch for you. And the straps that are on these, Cartier uh, normally has a, a swatch of about 150 colors to choose from. You can get any kind of strap you want. You could really have fun with some wild colors or you can make it look really dressy with something that's more uh, traditional like a patent leather or a black alligator, something like that. But don't let the, the strap color the watch too much for you in your mind because um, sort of like a, a room where you might see the color that it's painted and think that's locked in. It's not. Uh, you can change that anytime you want yourself. So give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo. See if we've still got these two beauties in stock. They'll be a great Mother's Day gift and we can definitely ship overnight. So give us a call and we'll get them right out to you. Uh, give us a call. Click the button to like and subscribe and give us a ring.